All right, guys. Well, I wanted to do a video on this for a while, but uh, never really had a reason to or the opportunity. But it's a windy day here in California. I'm in Southern California with a 2006 Lexus IS350. I'm gonna be driving it all the way to Texas. Uh, straight shot, 22 hours. So we'll see if I can make it. Um, hopefully I can. I don't have any doubt in my mind it's a Lexus, but you know, it is a journey. I hope the wind noise isn't too bad. If it is, I'll have to redo the intro. But we'll do a time lapse and all that. We'll see how she does. All right, so we're here in Southern California still. I'm on my way to Scottsdale, Arizona. We're gonna beeline it the whole way. Should get there in about five hours, at least with the way I drive. Um, from there, I'm gonna stop, stay at a hotel, and uh, in the morning we should drive to Albuquerque. And then from Albuquerque, I want to try and make it in one shot to Texas, but uh, I don't know. It looks like a 10-hour drive. It's about seven or eight hundred miles out, but. This starts our 1,400 mile road trip. Will it run and drive 1,400 miles on this Lexus? We've got 186, 353 on the odometer. Let's see if we make it. Um, not gonna lie, I am exhausted. Uh, my back is just blown 
down and pour it. a bit of snow here um, now luckily the roads are paved I'm just hoping that it stays this way See, I'm not liking those signs that says watch for ice you know I'm, I'm real real drive and I'm on summer tires in the back so if I hit snow or ice it really ain't gonna be pretty here so this is a real scary part of this drive I'm not enjoying this at all but uh, just trying to stay calm and hopeful that no ice or snow on the road because if there is then I've got to mount some chains up. Uh, I bought chains about 10 miles back at a store. I've never put chains on before so if I got to put them on it's going to be a trip and it's cold out here. It's about 20 degrees. Um, so boy I don't know. I just want to get past this. This part of the trip is um, not making me happy. I'm about uh, elevation uh, says 5342. So not terrible. I've been at I've been at higher elevation before. I've been at 8,000. Even been at um, nine and ten thousand before. I've seen a lot more snow than this, but roads are looking pretty good so far. But uh, it's boy, it's it's cold out here. So trying not to stop. Just want to line it the whole way to Albuquerque.
still in Arizona, but right now we're approaching Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, Gallup is in 29 miles, so we should actually be reaching um, New Mexico in about 29 miles. I know Gallup is in New Mexico, that's not in Arizona City. So, um, out in the distance you can see the Grand Canyon, no, I'm just kidding. Um, it does look very beautiful, it looks a lot like it. Uh, I passed the Petrified National Forest, didn't end up stopping because I really just want to get to where I need to be, but in front of me is very, very beautiful. So many views of this trip, um, very memorable trip. Lots of snow around. You can probably see some snow. Um, finally, out of that terrible mountain. That was horrible. That was terrifying. There was ice all over the road, and I ended up not putting chains on because I'd go faster without it. Uh, plus, there wasn't really enough ice or snow to be too worried. But it was still worrying, and I bought some chains anyway. Never ended up using them. But, yeah, I should be in um, New Mexico real soon here. Hello. It's day three. Uh, this is the, probably the worst thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. It's just endless driving. It doesn't stop. Outskirts of New Mexico. New Mexico is very gross. I hate it here. Um, hotel sucked. Uh, staff was really rude. Um, on my way to Texas, this is the home stretch. I uh, got about seven more hours left, about 500 more miles. <laughs> oh boy, I am so exhausted. I've gotten probably about eight hours total of sleep in the past two days. Um, I barely keep my eyes open on the road. I'm having to slap myself to keep myself awake. Um, out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere near Tucumcari, New Mexico. Um, I just want to get home. I hate this drive sick to my stomach. The only thing I've been eating is Mexican food because, well, that's all there is out here. There's Mexican food. Oh boy, I want this to be done. Here we are, we're in Texas. Finally. God, I thought I'd never make it. Um, the speed limit here is 60, it's kind of weird this highway here so you really got to be careful I want to say I was going about 95 uh, on the way in I could have gotten real screwed uh, but wasn't careful enough so that'll be good for my project cars because they barely run um, I'm in Amarillo Amarillo I don't know how to pronounce it Texas um, we're about five hours out still but at least we're in Texas. That's how we know that we're close. Um, we're almost there. There's actually quite a few people here. Uh, I'm honestly shocked. I know Texas is a large state, but boy, this is a well-populated area. It's very dense, um, which makes me feel welcome. It doesn't make me feel so secluded. Because everywhere I've been through this journey has been like ghost towns, you know. So this is a this is a nice change of pace here. And I've got a domino too. Um, I'm on my way to Fort Worth. I've got about uh, 350 miles. Let's get it. Yeehaw, cowboy! Hello, is this thing on? Am I still alive? Yeah, I'm still alive. Well. Uh, I believe I'm in Fort Worth right now. Um, 
Honestly, I didn't bother to record most of uh, coming into Texas because it was literally just dead grass and flatland. Um, not really much to see there, but I'm here about 15 minutes away from my new home, you know, and uh, boy, you know, driving 21 hours sure is fun. I gotta admit it, I would definitely do it again. No, no, I wouldn't. You could probably tell by how happy I am by the look on my face. If you can see it right now. Boy. Uh, but I'm gonna go home, probably hit up Whataburger or get a big ass burger and fries. And um, probably inhale it. Eat it in about five seconds, you know? Uh, thanks for watching.